chunky gua sha tool. So just nice effleurage. So what we don't need to be doing is we're not doing like big, strong, deep tissue massage, which is nice for a change. So there's different techniques. So first of all, if I just show you the different techniques is that I'm going to show you, you stay there and I'm going to show you from here because then you can see them, is that I'm doing this sort of, you know, a nice, this is what I would do with one hand here. And if you just, you know, you can see this sort of soft wrist, a little bit of a flick with the fingers. I love this move. Then you can also do like a hand over hand move. What we're doing is we're creating like a half circle in all of these moves, rather than going like round, like rather than round and round, it's like a half circle because the half circle aspect creates a pump. Sometimes it literally is, it can be this sort of move where it is actually like a pump. And you can, these are the techniques and then you can use them however you wish. So the flick, the hand over hand sort of circle moving up, the push and slide, a bit like a caterpillar. Um, there's these half circles at the back here. They do have something called thumb screws as well. You'll see the thumb screw, that's the thumb screw. And then this side by side hand like that as well. So would you start on a thigh? I was just showing you the techniques okay. there. These are these yeah. are the different techniques that you can use. Mm -hmm. So for the thigh, so now I'm going to show you. That was just to show you some yeah. of the techniques. So that as I go through them, you'll see the selection. Yeah. So first of all, I'm just going to work behind the popliteal space. So this is like I was saying, it's clearing the site, clearing the nodes, opening the nodes, a little bit like we did with the terminus. We're going to open first. This is the, the analogy of clearing the, the site of the, of the inflammation or the crash or the, uh, the congestion. We'll clear that first and then it leaves us the freedom to then do some draining. So here, if I'm using my hand, you can, I can use this technique, pushing up. If I wanted to use hand over hand, I could do that. And you can feel that it's, it's not like deep tissue, because that current is different, isn't it? That's completely different. So it has, but this is, this is, don't tell anyone on the video, but that, feels like it's not doing anything for me personally that's no it's just like you it's just like almost rubbing the hairs skin, that's it hmm. even even the, like the epidermis that's the way yeah it's, it's classically taught but i think this has has a bit more what i would imagine that would move the lymph hmm. and then i'm just going to incorporate so lots of um either water retention or oedema or lymph oedema can be, be uh, gathered around the ankles. So I'm just going to do this circular movement up as well. So this can be done, like I said, with your hands flat, hand over hand, but we're draining. Now that we've cleared the popliteal space, we're draining towards. I'm going to come round and show you, so that for the vid sake of the video, but also for the, for my, uh, you know, you can use your hand here as nice. You know, lots of people have puffy ankles actually, so it's you know it's mm. a great. And I would just encourage. You can see here, this is a half circle movement with a bit of bit more of a sort of flick. And even better if your tools are cold. Mm. 
So yeah, there's different ways of delivering this work and there's no, for me personally, you know, I would hate to say that one was right or wrong. What I know my anatomy, I know my physiology, I know what I'm doing, I know the uh, what the application and the purpose of my application. So um, I stand firmly with my technique and my style. It may not be uh, correct for some people, but I love the way I work. I know it works. Okay, then on to the thigh area. How long would you say you'd be like spending? Exactly what I'm doing here. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, five or so minutes per, because you've got to fit into a commercial hour. That question really depends also that on how long, if someone wants an hour and a half, then I, and, and has a particular reason for coming, then it might be that I'm working more on the waist and the waistline and the thighs rather than the arms so much. If someone's coming, you know, post um, breast enhancement surgery, you know, I might just do a, a 20 minute treatment. Like it doesn't have to be a full body treatment. It can be just very specific to what's required. You can literally have them in for 20 minutes or a half hour appointment. So here. So I'm just going to come around the other way. It's a little easier for me to work from this side. So this is lymphatic work. When, when I work on the thigh with the wood therapy, I do it when we're face down with the leg in a slightly angled position. But for working here, I'm leaning across. How does that feel, Karen? That's good. So if I was to work any deeper, I'd be flattening the lymph. So if I was going to be doing like that, that's flattening the lymph. And then I'm working into the muscular muscles and the fascia. But here I am moving and pushing the lymph. I'm just going to, let's not video this bit 